both p-type and n-type silicon conducts electricity. The resistance of both types is determined by the proportion of holes or excess electrons. By performing some p-type silicon in a chip of n-type silicon, electrons will flow through the silicon in only one direction. This is the principle of the diode. The p-n interface is called the p-n junction. How the diode works A diode conducts electricity in one direction, forward, while blocking the flow of current in the opposite direction, reverse. Forward bias Forward bias From the battery charge repels holes and electrons toward the junction. If the voltage exceeds to 0.6 volts silicon, then electron will cross the junction and combine with holes. A current will then flow. Reverse bias Reverse bias The charge from the battery attracts and electrons away from the junction therefore, no current flow. A diode are commonly enclosed in small glass cylinders. A dark band marks the cathode terminal, the opposite terminal is in the anode. Anode. Cathode. The symbol. Current flows when anode is more positive than cathode. Diode operation. Diode is like an electronic one way valve. It's important to understand some additional aspects of diode operation. A diode will not conduct until the forward voltage reaches a certain threshold point. For silicon diodes, the voltage is about 0.6 volts. This is the representation of diode operation. If the forward current becomes excessive, the semiconductor chip may crack or melt and the contact may separate. Too much reverse voltage will cause a diode to conduct in the wrong direction since this voltage is fairly high. The sudden current surge may zap the diode. Summing up diode operation This graph sums up diode operation. Vf equals forward voltage. Vr equals reverse voltage. If equals forward current. Ir equals reverse current.